Today we're going to have a look at how to use the module file or the hotlink manager to be able to create multiples that are referenced drawings. So we have here a terrace house. So this is just a thin house, terrace house, townhouse with a, a party wall and the intention is that we're going to duplicate this file so that we can have multiples that are reference drawing. So I'm just going to add just a couple more little bits and pieces just to close this off completely. This boundary is showing the division between the sites and so we just want to make sure that whatever happens here is, is going to be able to be duplicated. If we measure this, we see it's a sort of a strange number. Now we've got effectively seven and a half meters between each site, uh, but this is the end of one boundary. Um, so once we add the final outside walls, which is going to be a, a double brick wall or a cavity brick wall, it'll all make sense in the end. So we could do the same thing with this one. And if there's anything wrong with the file, when we save it as a duplicate, it doesn't really matter because we can always update it. So we'll leave a couple things not quite right. So then we can update it at the end. Now this is the original file. I've called this one Sample Terrace House. And we don't want to necessarily mess up the original file. This may also be the one that we're creating our title blocks, creating our layouts for creating our saved views. And if I turn all of the layers on, uh, it's not just our general arrangement plans, but we've got other things here like lighting and, and so on. So we And it's multiple stories. So we have ground floor, first floor, and, and roof information. So we want to make sure we copy all of this information in one go. So the first thing we're going to do, just to ensure that we don't make a mistake, is we're just going to create a multiple of this. So here we're going to call this the Terrace House Module. And for now, we'll just save this as a PLN. Then we want to get rid of all the extra information that we don't want to have as our 3D file. So all of our dimensions. Any references that we have, so we'll get rid of all of the section and elevation references. We don't want to duplicate those. Any detail markers that we've got. And for now we'll get rid of our camera as well. So that's it. Everything else is what we want to keep. We could get rid of all the text. Uh, we could get rid of this marker. Right, and before we go any further, we'll save that just as the same file again. And now we will save this as. In our format, we have module file. And when I go to options, it gives me a few different options of uh, what I want to do, how I want to import it. Now, there's still some things that I, I don't necessarily want to import. I'm just going here to explain this. So in all stories, that's not just, so I mentioned that we've got a ground floor, first floor roof, but we've also got all of these other stories. So we're going to want to make sure that we don't have anything on these stories, particularly our terrain mesh, which is being repeated. So what could we do to avoid that? We could also say range. We could say, I only want to import from ground floor to roof story. And that would be a way of avoiding 
bring in the terrain so we could keep it the way it is and only bring in some of these elements. Compressing the file is great. Breaking nested hot links and xref. So I can sort of have a file which is a hot link, hot link. Of course, that can create issues. So I want to break any hot links. So a, a 3D imported file. And an xref is generally a 2D imported file. So we may be x referencing a survey file, which is an external file brought into Archicad. And again, the intention of a hot link or uh, an xref is that it's an updatable file. All right, we can get rid of this and we'll press OK. We'll call this module one just so it's not confusing and we'll press save. Only floor plan data will be saved in module format. So what is this saying? Only floor plan is not a very good uh, name, Graphisoft. What it's saying is only story information will be saved. The, the two-dimensional information, uh, details and worksheets, and the sectional and elevation information will be lost. So again, it's still not a really good way of describing it. The sectional and elevational information, the 3D model, would still remain. Of course, I've deleted my section elevation markers anyway. Uh, but any 2D information that we'd added to those, such as dimensions, uh, lines, text, would be lost. So it's keeping my 3D model. Continue. So that's saved, but we see that this file is still called module.pln. So this isn't actually our module file. This is our standardized file that we were working at, the one that we created a copy of, so we wouldn't be deleting from the original. So we don't need this file anymore. We can now close this one down, and we're going to open up the original, which was our sample terrace houses. Now that's opening as another file, that's not an issue. And in the next video we'll have a look at what we do from here.